In this video we'll show how a more complex uh, REST API can be created in Alpha Anywhere. So in this particular example we're going to basically uh, show how a, an API endpoint called GetCustomerInfo can be created and this endpoint will uh, display data from the Northwind customer database and for a given customer it's going to show information about that customer then it's going to show all of the orders for that customer and then for each order it's going to show all of the order details for that particular customer and then for each product in order details it's going to show the product description from the uh, product table so the uh, API is going to basically do queries against the sample Northwind uh, database and uh, let's start out by just uh, testing it so let's go here and type in an ID of a customer that we know exists in the Northwind database so we'll go there and type in ALF key and then hit the execute button so we can see now we get the um, result and so we don't have any data for ALF key so let's go and try a different customer let's go here and type in say Bollard and then go execute and we can see that for Bollard we have here we have the customer information we have customer ID customer name and then we have the orders for uh, this customer Bollard so you can see there's the first order 10321 and then inside that order we have the line items for that order so this order 10326 uh, has these three line items and here are each line item with the corresponding product name for the product ID so there's the second order for Bollard and uh, there's the third order for Bollard so basically our API is um, performing queries against the Northwind database and returning a complex uh, JSON packet as a, uh, uh, in response to the query so this is this is sort of a, a better example or a more realistic example of the type of API that you might want to create in Alpha Anywhere. So let's go now and see how this was uh, done in Alpha Anywhere. So first of all, we need to basically write the XBasic that's going to actually do the query against the Northwind database. So in order to do that, we can open up a new uh, XBasic function library here. And uh, sorry, let's go here to XBasic and then we'll say new and we're not going to actually create a functional library we're going to just use this to actually uh, type in XBasic code and then test it so we can use the functional library as a playground for testing XBasic so for example if I were to go here and say dim x as uh, c equals alpha and then show var x and then click on the lightning bolt we can see we actually run the XBasic so the XBasic function library can be used as a really convenient playground for testing XBasic. So we now need to go and write some code that's going to write, that's going to execute a SQL query against Northwinds and return the the uh, data for the customer, for that customer's orders, and then the order details for each customer. And in order to write that XBasic, we can just use one of the genies in Alpha anywhere. So I'm going to right click over here and go to genies and then go to XBasic SQL Action Code Generator and the genie that we want is one that's going to return hierarchical JSON data so we'll go ahead there and click OK then we'll choose our, our connection string so we want to go against the Northwind uh, database and then we'll go and add our first query so the first query is going to go against the customer table so we'll go there and say customers and then let's choose the columns that we want from the customer table so I'll just go there and choose say uh, those columns and then we'll say we'll put in a where clause we'll say where customer ID equals bullet so let's go ahead and execute that and so there we have the customer information from the customer table so next we need to add a subquery that's going to basically get the orders for that customer so let's pause now and pick it up in the next video where we'll add in the query for the orders so we're continuing now showing how a more complex um, API can be created that returns uh, hierarchical data from the Northwind customer database and we now we've just defined our top level query which is going to select data from the customer table so now we're going to go and add a subquery for um, the orders for that customer so we'll go here and we'll choose the um, orders table the columns that we want from the order table will be say these columns over there 
let's just go ahead and click OK and then we can link the parent query to the child query by specifying uh, customer ID as the linking field and we can leave the name of the query as child1 that just means that if we basically were to go ahead and preview the query right now we can see that the orders are called child1 but if we go there and change that now to say orders and then hit the preview we can see that the subquery is now called order so let's go ahead and leave that as orders and now we need to add yet another query uh, to go and get the uh, order details for this particular order so we'll go there and add another query and we'll go now and choose order details and then we'll choose the columns that we want from the order details table and then we'll also go here and add in another table we'll go here and add in the products table so we'll go there and choose products we'll link that on the product ID field and then we'll go back to columns here and after product ID we'll go there and put in the product name so we'll go ahead and click OK and we'll call this uh, details and then we'll make our linking key uh, um, uh, uh, let's see, we'll, we'll make our linking key order ID and then order ID and then let's go ahead and preview our query so we can see now we have the customer we have the orders for that customer so there's the first order, there's the second order and then for each order we have the line items for that order so we've gone ahead now and we've defined our um, SQL to generate this uh, JSON object and in case we want to come back into this wizard let's just go here and save this and we'll just call this a customer orders 2 so this is going to allow us if we want to ever come back into this genie to easily retrieve um, uh, the uh, information that we've previously entered so you can see here that the X basic code in order to generate this uh, um, in order to get the uh, the JSON has been generated for us over here so let's just copy this code to the clipboard click OK and close this down and now go into this function library uh, paste in the code and then over here let's go here and just simply say show var JSON so go ahead now and uh, run this and we can see that basically the uh, code has run and it's giving us the uh, answer that we want so using the XBasic function library as a playground or testing uh, area for XBasic code is really convenient so let's take this XBasic code right now and go now and make a class that we can use and then we'll expose this uh, method that we create in, a, in an API so we'll go now so we don't need to save that so we'll go now and we'll say create a new class and uh, let's go there and uh, use this um, little helper here to insert a stub class definition so I'll just call this uh, say my API and then I'll call this um, uh, customer info and then we'll delete um, the existing body of the class and we'll type in a new function so we'll go here and say function get customer details as p we're going to return a uh, an object and then we'll go here and say uh, customer id as c end function and then we'll go here and paste in the code that we wrote so let's just go there and uh, outdent that to make it look nicer and then let's pause now and pick this up in the next video so continuing now with the video showing how you can create a more complex uh, API uh, one that returns uh, detailed information about a customer we've just created a new class here called customer info and in that class we have a method called uh, get customer details that's going to return the data by executing a SQL query to return nested JSON data so we're passing in customer ID but we're not currently using customer ID in the SQL statement so let's go here and replace the hard-coded value of bollard with a SQL argument of customer ID and then let's go now over here and actually create this argument from the passed in value so I'll go here and say args dot add customer ID 
and equal to the passed in value of customer ID. So now we basically, let's just go ahead and save this. So now we are, are executing the query and we can't obviously do a show var over here. We need to return a value. And what we'd like to do is return a, uh, an object that has all of the customer information in it. So I'm going to go here and instead of saying um, uh, uh, show var, I'm going to go there and say uh, get customer is equal to JSON pass of JSON. So remember that JSON is coming back as a string of JSON data. So we're going to pass it and get it into an XBasic object and then we're going to return that object. So then in the case when there's an error, let's go here and say dim p out as p, p out dot error equals true, p out dot error text equals error text and then get customer details equals p out. So in the case that there's an error, we're going to return an object that has two properties, error and error text. So we go ahead now and save this. So now we have our new class and the next thing we need to do is create the API to expose this new class called get customer details. So we'll go back to the web control panel right there. We'll go to web services. We'll go ahead there and type new. We'll create a new service. We'll add our class that we just created. Um, and um, there's the new class that we created. So this class has get customer details. We'll choose to expose that method and we'll use a get. So we'll go ahead and click OK. Let's go and uh, save this now and we'll call this uh, customer, uh, let's just say, uh, call it uh, customer info is the name of our uh, class and then we'll go ahead now and do a live test and so we'll do a get and we'll click on the um, try it out button over here just resize this um, okay so and then type in say uh, bollard and then click the execute button and we can see that we get the result over there so what we've shown in this video is how a much more complex um, API can be created in this case the API was uh, returning uh, JSON data that showed the customer information, all of the orders for that customer, and then order all of the details for each order. And in order to um, perform uh, the um, API request, we needed to write XBasic code that did a query against the Northwind database and did query against the uh, customer table, the orders table, and the order details table to get the data which was then going to be returned in uh, JSON format. Thanks very much for watching.